warm round of applause to Pond Tanks Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I barely showed up to anything she invited us to, um, and you know, when I would give an excuse, it was mostly just like, I don't want to. So, so. I mean, just, just, just one of my, this is a question, it's been, I've been thinking, you know, I mean, yeah. it's pretty fresh, right? It's pretty right. fresh, thing. right? Why the fuck did you guys tell me anything while we were dating? We tried to. Do you not remember that? No. Wait. Do you remember when you were like, I'm going to propose to Deborah? I said, Are you, have you really, 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 really thought about this? I thought you were just being a really great friend. I was. <laughs> you can't just say something like that to somebody. Yeah. Like It ruins a friendship to be like, don't do this, don't marry her. Because then when you marry her, what do you do? So we asked you, are you sure? Remember the night before you got married, and you were like, are you really sure? You're absolutely sure. Yeah. Yeah. Can I be honest with you guys? Uh -huh. I wasn't really sure. We <laughs> 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 You know, that's what I just like, oh my god. Like, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm getting married tomorrow. It's going to be cool. 
know, you know, the rest of my life's going to be spent with this woman. There's not like a specific script you have to follow in that situation. You can actually just tell us you weren't ready in that moment. Yeah. Oh. We're your friends, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's nice. No. <laughs> uh, you know, it's not really a thing that you learn. You know, it's not like something that, like, if that's what, there should be a fucking class on that in school. What, a class on what, how to stay, I mean, how to deal degree? with social situations. Like, you know, like, <coughs> listening to your friends? Yeah. Well, listening to your friends' class in high school? <laughs> Why not? Do you know how many parents would be like, my kids still need to learn how to listen to their friends. I'm trying to get them not to listen to their friends. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. I think that's the problem. There's a problem inherent in that thinking. I think, yes. What? I'm, not, I'm literally not, I'm not following you. There's a problem with telling kids to not listen to their friends. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that that was that hard to understand. No, it's hard to understand. I just don't understand what it has to do with Deborah. And well, friends. because if I would have listened to you guys, <laughs> right. I wouldn't, you know, be in a divorce now. I don't know. Is that what it's called? Is, is it being in a divorce? Being in a divorce? <laughs> You're in escrow. You're in escrow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> contract is happening. Is it like in the process of being divorced or? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Who's getting this restaurant? Is it you or her? <laughs> oh, shh. Oh, you haven't guys come start You haven't yet? thought about that? No. You guys opened this place together. See, again, something that there should probably be a class that didn't know that was a thing that was going to happen. <laughs> that you have to divide up assets when you got divorced? Yeah. I mean, I, I knew that, you know, you talk about it. It's like a thing that happens where you're like, yeah, you have to divide shit, but, like, it's never like, you know, like, what's the ratio? You know? I don't know. You should just let her have it. That way you can have the house. That's what I think you should do. Yeah. Also, you yeah. hate this place. Yeah, I really do. Yeah. <laughs> It showed in the way you treat This table is way too small. Yeah. Well, right, but like, you know. And you brought up big, you know, place too large for that table, yeah. right? You can't, fit restaurant. Restaurant. you can't fit two plates. You can't fit two plates. Deborah written all over it. Just like, no, too small of a table, too big a place. That's Deborah. <laughs> I'm dying. That is, she is that person. Yeah. Deborah. Too small a table, too big a place. <laughs> I don't want to see that. It's hard to see things. I didn't see things were bad with Steve until a long time. That's true. That's true. We tried to give you hints on that. Yeah, yeah. that was Steve was a douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that time we went to the carnival? He was like, oh, you win the biggest stuffed animal. I wanted to win the biggest stuffed animal because I wanted to show him that he wasn't the one that had to win the biggest stuffed animal. Yeah. And then he won the biggest stuffed yeah. animal. <laughs> that was the problem with him. Right? He'd be really constant and really like like full of himself, but then he would do the thing he said he was gonna do. I know. Which is like Ugh. like pissed me off. Yeah, you couldn't be mad. Yeah. You just had to be like, you're all right. Assholes who can back it up. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we haven't been all single since, since like when? First year of college? 
Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> we're all single! We're all single! <laughs> we're all single! <laughs>
VHS. Uh, <laughs> you were a VCR. I was. Yeah. I've got uh, Aladdin. In the puppy case? Yeah, in the puppy case. Space <laughs> Jam <laughs> came in one of those. The worst is when you sit down as a kid and you'd be like, oh, I wish the puppy would like me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were. Yeah, we used about. to have a TV in our big van, and my parents, like, We'd put the VHS in the way to carry a big like tote of VHS everywhere we went. So you remember VCRs more than you let on just now. Well yeah, but I'm <laughs> saying I didn't think about it for a long time. I also have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon series special episodes that they released at Burger King. And I do have pride. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a great movie. It and has fun. Bill Murray in it. Okay. As himself. <laughs> so does Zombieland. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good movie. See, what if you were thinking about Space Jam and really there was Zombieland waiting for you? <laughs> Really? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you kidding me? I think that's weird. Uh, Celeste from Final Fantasy VI. Uh, I don't yeah. Know. I don't know. I don't understand that reference without playing video games. So. <laughs> then I'll stop. <laughs> I stop. <laughs> so I fall for it. Don't, please don't. Okay. I will try not to. No, 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 no. We gotta go to this. You do where you go, but you, you cannot can, try you it. Can't it. You can't do it. <laughs> yes. You either are gonna go and say, no, Deborah, it's happening, or you're gonna go and you're gonna say, okay, let's give another try. Right. She was the one who brought up divorce in the first place, right? Yes. So, so. Why right. do you wanna be with somebody who doesn't wanna be with you? That's a good point. <laughs> she wouldn't have said it if she didn't mean it. Exactly. It sounds like you guys are trying to convince me. I mean, you guys are trying to. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's going to do. And I know that she has this power over you. And I'm, I'm just, I'm concerned now. She doesn't have a power over me. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Like what? <laughs> you started wearing khaki. <laughs> uh, They're comfy. And you know it. Khakis are comfy. <laughs> Have you worn khakis? Yes, because I worked at Best Buy for two months. Yeah, they're, not. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. The, co the color's not comfy, but the, the feel of that <laughs> that material on your legs is comfy. Then buy a pair of pants that are made out of the same material. So that, that's called khakis. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you khaki material. Let me ask you this: Why didn't you wear khakis in college then? Yeah. I, because I I I I was I had mislabeled khakis. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I didn't know, I didn't know the joy of khakis in college. You were you were unfair to khakis in college. Yes, <laughs> I really was. I was like fuck khakis, and I never worn them before. Mm -hmm. I put them on, and I was like, hey, you know what? I like this. <laughs> you started listening to weird music. Weird music? What do you mean? Yeah, you used to listen to punk music. Yeah. Now you listen to pop music. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, calm down. <laughs> it's a big jump from The Clash to Ed Sheeran. I was just saying. <laughs> <laughs> the new song is okay. Yeah. I, don't have a C song? I don't have a CD of his. His song comes on the radio and I turn it up a little bit. So I'm driving, I turn it up a little bit. That's all. And I sing along. <laughs> I'm showing you guys the music video. The <laughs> Walk Off the Air version is really awesome. Uh -huh. <laughs> How many Taylor Swift albums do you have? Okay, <laughs> yeah, that, that's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's different. That is that is that's, different. No, you, that's everyone has a guilty influence. pleasure. Everyone has a guilty pleasure. Well, yeah, but that's all her influences. What I'm saying. What that I like Taylor Swift. Yes. I like Taylor Swift. <laughs> You're lying. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> So then how does she make you feel? That's a complicated question. It shouldn't be a complicated <laughs> no, question. No, it shouldn't why, what? How, why? Why is that not a complicated question? Because you're married to her. She should make you feel awesome. Does she make a you feel awesome? A positive word should be the first thing that comes to your head. Sometimes she makes me feel awesome. Sometimes, Sometimes isn't good enough. Sometimes it isn't even often. <laughs> 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 we stopped coming to poker night. When you started dating her. I'm actually. And you, and you stopped coming to Game of Thrones night. And you stopped. Like, you stopped hanging out with us, really. Yeah, I'm actually really okay. bummed that you don't still come to poker night. Well, because I, I used to get a lot of money off of you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, one reason I stopped going to poker night is because I suck at poker. <laughs> I just yeah. kept losing all my money. 
But you never That's had any not issue as with fun that. As one thinks. You never <laughs> had any issue with losing all your money before Deborah came into the right. picture. Right. That is, suddenly that is one thing. good thing. I mean, I think that's a good thing that Deborah brought in my life is me caring about my money. If I just, ha I just have to throw that out there. I didn't care about my money before, right? But I did when Deborah came in. That's a good thing. Silver lining. That's a silver lining. <laughs> One silver lining. <laughs> <laughs> One silver lining. She made you care about money. That's her silver lining. When you say it that way, in it a makes whole, you sound like an asshole. In a whole, <laughs> in a whole year of marriage. Yep. That was that's the one silver lining. Okay. 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 Great. I won't. I'm not going to try to get back. don't want us to lose our friendship if you do get back to it. Yeah. I don't want to lose our friendship either. Well, we've said a lot of things tonight. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, but nothing, like, like, honestly, nothing that's going to get rid of a friendship. Okay. Do you think that? Well, if you, go, if you guys did get back together, you would tell her what we said. She, that would, she would say you can't see us anymore. And you would listen to her. We would do it. That much of a patsy ass, am I? <laughs> patsy ass? <laughs> I think it's a pansy ass. Yeah. <laughs> there's a term called patsy ass. A patsy ass? I swear to God, there's a patsy ass. Like he's a patsy ass because a patsy is who you like. Like the guy that you, that you like blame yeah, stuff on. And a patsy's ass would be a donkey that belongs to the patsy. <laughs> 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 like, that's not a good, I would rather have a horse than a patsy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very weird context. I don't know what that's, that's what I thought the context was. How about a pansy ass or a patsy ass? <laughs> but you are with her. When it comes to her, you are. You would stop hanging out with us. Because it would be easier than arguing with her. Yeah. <laughs> she screams really loud. She really does. <laughs> it's worse when she gets quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped listening at that point. Dude, she pulls out the disappointed card, which is so fucking Oh, cool. yeah. Like, that's reserved for parents only. You don't do that to your spouse. No, she would do that disappointed shit all the time. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not angry at you. I'm just, I'm just disappointed. disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> it's just such bullshit to do to somebody who you're married to. It's emotionally manipulative, actually. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 Wait. What? I mean, I'm interested. Am I being emotionally manipulative? Yes. Am I is you it, haven't gotten that from this entire discussion. Yeah, <laughs> we just barely start talking about emotional manipulation. Everything she does has been emotional manipulation. Really? Yeah. yeah. You didn't. You weren't going to ask her to marry you until she started mentioning some subtle, subtle, subtle. things, right? She asked, I mean... No, it's my decision to marry her. <laughs> no, it was it's my decision to no, marry her. No, it wasn't. I asked her to marry me. I was like... After her dad talked to you! And <laughs> she... Who the fuck do you think talked to her dad? Also, didn't you guys go ring shopping before you yes, asked her? Yes, they have! She picked out her engagement ring. That, that's a, isn't that a normal thing? <laughs> <laughs>